It's time to talk about Marvel's Captain America Civil War. And I know we have this whole thing going on, like hashtag Team Captain America or hashtag Team Iron Man, but we all know how this is really going to end, guys. I mean, come on. We all know how it's going to end. Ant-Man is going to help the Hulk open up on the last Coca-Cola. They'll share a drink together, and then the whole Civil War will be over by the power of Coca-Cola. Sheesh, talk about giving spoilers away in your trailers. Hello everybody, I'm LazyDude99, welcome once again to another predictions video for Marvel's Captain America Civil War. So. This is going to be Marvel, I sh uh, this is going to be the big one for Marvel this year. This is their, not quite their Avengers, but, you know, a little bit bigger than their regular superhero film. So in this movie, Captain America is back and he's finally found Bucky. And Bucky seems to be free of most of the mind control, or maybe not. I mean, look at this, he's trying to shoot Tony in the face. In any case, there is now this new government superhero registration program where all superpowered heroes have to register with the government. This divides the Avengers right in half. On Iron Man's side, we have War Machine, Vision, Black Panther, and Black uh, Widow. Oh, nice loyalty, Natasha. On Captain America's side, we have uh, Scarlet Witch, Winter Soldier, Falcon, from the looks of one of the posters, Mockingbird, Hawkeye, and I'm pretty sure that's it for the most part. But we still don't know whose side Spider-Man is on. So it divides the Avengers right in half with the superheroes on either side, and then they clash, and it's going to be a battle of the superheroes. How's this going to end? Is it going to end like the comic? Is it going to end differently? Is Captain America going to win? I don't know. There's a lot of questions that I don't know, and I'm actually really looking forward to. I'll just say it. Right now, I'm probably... As I said before my last video, I'm more excited for Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. But I'm less worried about this one. Sorry to say it, but Marvel has had a lot better of a track record with their films. I mean, their last bad one that I can say that I really didn't like was Iron Man 3. Everything else that I've, I think they've been really solid with. Even if some of them weren't amazing, they're still enjoyable. I still have them on DVD, so, uh, you know, they got me to watch it in theaters and buy it again when it came out on DVD, so that's, like, the main goal. Uh, so, yeah, I would say that mostly Marvel has been very, very solid, and I'm really excited to see Captain America's story continue on. Because I'm going to say it right here, Captain America Winter Soldier is my favorite Marvel film ever. I think it's past Iron Man as my favorite Marvel film. There is a lot more stuff going on. There's more stuff like that can be related to. Captain America is great. All the characters are great. I love Captain America Winter Soldier, and this is made by the same guys. Civil War is directed by Anthony and Jorah Russo, who both did directed... Uh, Captain America Winter Soldier, so I'm really excited what these guys bring to the sequel. Okay, let's go with what we get from the trailer. For all, so, the main thing that we get from the trailer is that the springboard of this seems to be more of what's going on with Bucky. In the original Civil War, there was a bunch of teenaged superhumans that uh, had their own reality TV show where they took down super criminals and they lucked into finding these bunch of higher tier super criminals and when they confronted them they did a cockily and because of that one of the people who has the power to explode uh, exploded by a school killing thousands of or at least hundreds of kids I don't know the exact number and lots and lots of people because of their recklessness. Because of this, a superhero registration act is to put into position which tells all superheroes to unmask to the public. They have to have their identities known and stuff like that. Where in Civil War the movie, it seems to be more off of... It still seems to be the fact that the government doesn't want superhumans just going around doing whatever they want and having their powers unchecked. It also seems to be more about what's going on with Bucky, him having to face the consequences for being brainwashed for all this time, 
and being used as a weapon. Finally, him get overcoming that and the people trying to arrest him for this. And so Iron Man and Captain America clash because of this issue. We don't really know much more about that. I mean, is it just because Iron Man, you know, doesn't like Bucky? And look, I get that, you know, the, the government is going to want the one, you know, the less control things, but I, I'm wondering where's Iron Man's angle in this? Because in Civil War, it was very, very apparent that he felt that, you know, the superhumans needed to keep themselves accountable. We get a couple of lines like that in the tra in the trailer, but I, I I don't get where the Registration Act and Bucky collide. Where do those things go together? Because I don't really see how the Registration Act really applies to Bucky in any real way, shape, or form. Because Bucky's not really even superhuman, really. He has a mechanical arm, but he's just a guy that's been... I, I just don't get why the government won't accept that he's been brainwashed for all this time. And use that as trying to help him rather than arrest him and throw him into a dark under cave where nobody will ever find him anymore. But also we see on that trailer... Bucky tries to shoot Tony right in the face with a gun. So obviously, is there some residual brainwashing still there? Does Hydra play any uh, role in this? Or is Hydra gone for good because we saw them taken down in Avengers Age of Ultron? I don't know. Maybe they're still underlying... You know, I didn't think they were going to have anything to do with the Winter Soldier, and they did. So, you know, Hydra could still be kicking somewhere in some way, shape, or form. I feel like there's something missing that involves, like, there's something that connects the Winter Soldier to this registration act for some reason, I just don't know what. Okay, what's my biggest hope for this film? Very simple, I just really hope that they don't villainize Iron Man. Now, he's going to be the antagonist, to be sure, but I want his reasons for him doing what he does to be relatable. I want him to have a good reason to, that he feels that he's doing the right thing. I don't want Iron Man all of a sudden to just be like, ho, 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 I want all superhumans to register and be their identities known, which I guess in this universe isn't really that big of a deal, because come on, who has a secret identity? Everybody knows who Captain America is, because he's Captain America. Everyone knows who I am, because I blabbed it out, you know? I, anyway, I'm getting off topic. I don't want Iron Man vilified. I want him to be the antagonist, but I don't want him to be a villain. I really want somebody who is an Iron Man fan to be able to go into this movie and kind of almost cheer for Iron Man, even though they're following Captain America through the film. I also don't want this to end on a happy ending, really, because, I, you know, this if you're putting these characters at odd, and they're clashing, and they're clashing, and they're fighting each other, this needs to really break... The Avengers, completely. I want the Avengers done by the end of this film. I want them to come back in Infinity War when the stakes are so high they have to put all their petty squabbles aside. But I like how the teams right now, they seem to be forming naturally. For example, Vision's on Iron Man's side. Very likely. You know, Captain America was against Vision from the start. And even if Captain America grew to like Vision and they grew together, the fact that Vision might side more with Iron Man makes sense. Same with Scarlet Witch siding with Captain America. Captain America was the one who believed in her early on. You know, he's the one who brought them in and said, look, you are opposing Ultron now. You're with us. I'm okay with that, let's do this. So it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out. I really want to see a battle of wits between these two. I really, you know, like Iron Man, I want Iron Man to outsmart uh, Captain America in some ways. One of my favorite moments from this book, uh, actually, is there's a part, in, you know, it, they're, they're, it's a battle between these two. And one of the more impressive parts in it is where Iron Man and Captain America are fighting, but Iron Man's improved his armor to have recorded every single punch that Captain America has ever thrown, so it knows what it's going to be before he throws it. And he mops the floor with Captain America, Captain America has to come back and, and cheat in some ways to uh, be Iron Man at his own personal game. So, I, I really want to see a battle of wits between these two. I don't want Iron Man to be the villain, I want him to be the antagonist. I don't want War Machine to die because of something that... Uh, Captain America did, that'd be awful. Um, like, I don't think they would have put it in the trailer if he died, because nobody in the Marvel movies ever died unless their name is Quicksilver. Ooh, 
You didn't see that coming? P.S. They probably just killed him off because they were like, Oh, crap. X-Men Days of Future Patch did a better crap. But I'll get to that later. So anyway, that's what, those are my biggest hopes for this movie. What's my biggest fear? Honestly, I, I guess I, I fear that... I'm not going to believe the stakes uh, would push these characters to these points. You know... Whatever is the main thing that pushes Captain America and Iron Man to fight, I want it to be believable. I don't want it to be like, oh, come on, guys, there's an obvious solution that you guys could have compromised here and that, 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 that it would have been fine and we didn't need to go through all this. Why didn't you guys think of that? You know, I don't want there to be an easy way out that I see and the characters don't just because the plot needs them to be at odds with each other. I want it to be believable why they come to odds with each other and that we are given a good, insightful view into why each character feels the way they do. I don't know who's like what how you're gonna have this because obviously Iron Man's on the side of the government and that was the kind of the big thing about Civil War was Captain America was on the wrong side of the law in the end of Civil War so it's just like you can't really end it with Captain America winning because he'll go like okay we beat Iron Man and all of his guys okay now the registration act is done and the government's gonna be like. Uh, no, we put it through. You're still criminals. We'll have to get the army to take you out if our superheroes can't because you're still breaking the law. You can't just call it over with because you want to fight. And that's going to be the thing with this. What is, it going, what is this going to mean for Captain America and for all of the Marvel Universe in general? I don't know. I'm looking forward to finding out two things that we have that are unknown, Spider-Man and Hulk. I would actually like to think that Bruce Banner would side with Iron Man, but he probably wants to take himself out of the equation because he doesn't know if the Hulk would side with Iron Man. And that would be interesting. Well, okay, wait. Uh, I guess Bruce Banner is in hiding because he left at the end of Avengers. That's true. Uh, oh, that throws my Coke theory out the window. But anyway, I guess it makes sense why the Hulk isn't really in this thing. He's probably taking himself out of the equation. I feel like that would be an interesting thing if Iron Man... Like, if Bruce Banner would side with Iron Man, but Hulk would side with Captain America, and how that would make an interesting thing, whereas, like, Captain America would be trying to increase Bruce's adrenaline, so the Hulk would come out and join him, but he'd be trying to keep calm. I don't think that's going to happen, but we also know that Spider-Man's going to be in this film. Now, he was a big part of Civil War because he started with Iron Man's side and switched over to Captain America's side, and then, you know, one more day happened, and then we all just stopped paying attention for a while. I'm interested to see where Spider-Man comes in in this and why. I mean, we know he's going to be in the movie, but why and where? And is he going to be a big part, or is he just going to be more of a cameo? So that's going to be interesting to find out. So I think that's mostly all I have to say. I've said my biggest hopes, my biggest fears, and my what I'm looking forward to. So what would be my excitement meter? My excitement meter for this one, I would say that I am... I am in full, holy crap, I can't wait to see this movie mode. Yeah, not the most poetic way of putting it, but that's basically what I, what I feel. I can't wait to see this movie. The one thing that it has over... Superman, Batman, and their thing is that these characters had time to interact with each other before. We've known that they've always butted heads with each other, and we know so their fight almost has a little bit more weight to it because they've had a friendship before. And that is something that I find very interesting and look forward to going forward. And what this does for the Marvel Universe, I hope it shakes it down. The last Captain America shook it down by taking S.H.I.E.L.D. out of the equation. Brought it back in uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. Because, what, he had a helicarrier just sitting around? Things like the size of a football field. Where are you just leaving that around? In your office? Besides the point. Um... I hope this shakes the Avengers to their core, disbands them by the end of it, and then they have to come back together, get over their petty differences in uh, Infinity War, and that's going to be what I'm looking forward to. Thumbs up all around. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't really know how much, what they could screw up with this. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Adios, everybody, and my next prediction, what is my next prediction? So in my next predictions video, I will be looking at 
X-Men Apocalypse. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, be sure to join me there. And if you haven't seen any of my pre previous predictions video, I got one on Deadpool and Batman v Superman, and I'll have the other ones coming soon. If you guys are also wondering, yes, I will also be reviewing Deadpool soon because even though I just did a predictions video out, the movie's going to be coming out and it's going to be out tomorrow. Well, tomorrow as I'm filming this right now, it might not be when you're watching this. Whatever. Anyway, so see you guys when I see you. Adios. Bye. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel and wait for more coming soon.